we always saw the video like this. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I forgot to start, sorry. <laughs> I was saying bam almost. Okay, oh we God. we also we all yeah there's a lot of shit. We, we need oh, to We always start a video like this. Bom dia! Good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the Bitcoin YouTube channel guys for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tayhutu. This is my wife, oh man, yes, we are the dad and the mom from the Bitcoin family that four years ago sold literally everything they own, their house, their companies, their cars, their bikes, the toys of the kids, the savings of the kids, my pension fund. And then we went all into Bitcoin and we started to travel the world. Four years later, still traveling the world, <coughs> watching out for shit, but still traveling the world, now coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. And today, not a beach scene, but a beautiful piece of nature just in the back of my house. And I didn't visit this part yet. In today's video, guys, of course, bombing you again with a really cool Bitcoin chart. Of course, also looking at the profit of the Bam Bam indicator yesterday. Yes, and this time in a four hour chart. And yes, talking in the blockchain slash news part about some really cool news. Of course, a little bit about PayPal and way more stuff. So make sure you watch the video completely till the end. If I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I could I don't know if you can see it, the rainbow. There's a rainbow into the sky. No. In the sky. You know the song better. <laughs> How's the song again? I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> Why not? What was it again? Uh, uh, it's from uh, DJ Paul Elstack. Yeah? <laughs> that was but, but it was DJ Paul Alstek, was it? Yeah. And he was singing. Uh, I forgot the song and I cannot edit the song into the video because that's illegal. YouTube doesn't allow me. But it had something to do with there's a rainbow high in the sky and then you and me. And a bird flying away. And a bird flying away. And, and, she, and it's like, like doof, 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 doof. <laughs> and she can still do the dance. I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> Why <Yeah>. not? <laughs> Just show it. No. <laughs> Only I'm do it without the music. <laughs> I'm going to do the do do do. And you do Just stop. You do no. this only the simple only the simple feet moving. Okay? Let's go. Oh, I'm doing <laughs> 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 do one more time. Come on. One two three. Oh wait. Uh, you just run it out of the blue. I'm not in the mood, but Okay. Okay. One, You're not in the mood. Two. Three. Go. <laughs> So that is what we call hakken in the Netherlands. That was, was like in the 90s. It was a huge movement. It was the gabbas, and we all danced like that from this music. <laughs> it was a rainbow high in the sky. You and me, bird flying away. Away. Oh my God. <laughs> Something like this. Now, we didn't expect to sing in this video, and yes, we know we are not singers. So guys, let's first jump into the family part. This part. Bam. She will get used again to the bad sounds. <laughs> There's not much family news at the moment. Like I said already, this week yeah, we are still waiting on the bags and we still need to wait a week more. And we are looking into buying a bike for the kids because we are a little bit distance now from the center and they want to be like, moving independently. So I think we end up buying a bike or something like this. The next Friday, Together with Gokstein Media, we were launching an episode. Like every Friday, an episode about our lives. And yes, there will be a lot of stuff in it that is not in my daily videos. And of course, also some stuff that is in the daily videos when it is really funny or really interesting. We will, of course, also add new content once, once a week, week on Friday. What is that? Okay, well. comment down below what this is. And there's another one. I feel a lot of flies, so we're probably like shitholes. Maybe Portuguese jail for kids that don't behave. I really can't tell you. Maybe we should do it the other way around now in the family part, because I'm always holding the stick. Maybe you should hold the stick and do the talking for once. Okay, but don't complain if I move too much with the camera. <laughs> this is the part where you hold the stick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So. Yeah. She's holding the stick. 
Oh, there's a song that came up to my mind. I'm not going you to walk sing it. More easy. Yeah. You hold it with this hand. So, it's fucked up. I'm I will right. leave the whole story now up to you. Okay. Bam. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the only thing. Bam. This is interesting. What's interesting? It feels really relaxing to not hold the stick and you do the talk. Yeah, and you are complaining about your shoulder that it's... Um, yeah. I don't know. Now it you hurts. understand why? Yeah, it's not crazy to think the the problem. The problem is that this thing. <laughs> oh, so I need to buy another one that is like tied to my stomach and then just filming me. No, but it gets. Yeah, it gets heavy, yeah. Heavy. It's not a good feeling for my shoulder, so no. So what is it? What you want you're, to talk you're, about? You're doing it for yourself. Where do I? What do I want to talk about? Yeah, you're leading the show now. Doesn't it be about Bitcoin? No, about whatever. Okay. Nah, it's all too serious. No. <laughs> what, are you leading me to the house you just bought for me? Is that our new house? Uh, it's cool. I don't know where to go. Here we are. Okay, um, I got a question for you. You got a question for me. Yeah. Now, this, now it's getting interesting. Where do you see yourself in the future? Where do I see myself in the future? Yourself, yeah. Pff, that's like, why do you ask these difficult questions? <laughs> I think we will be a happy family, okay. still traveling. As a family, I think our kids will spread their wings. I think they will start to travel all their cells and then we will meet as two separate traveling families somewhere in the beautiful beach on Brazil and then again in Thailand and yeah. I think the Bitcoin family brand is going to be huge I think we are going to help it, a lot of poor people yeah yeah or is that not the answer in the question you were asking yeah yeah it's a, a huge answer <laughs> they always give huge answers and again I'm, I'm, I'm carrying this stick yeah you're leading now <laughs> this is not my kind of way I need somebody to do it for me because no so this is not the stick you want to hold Okay, what kind of sticks Stop do you want to hold? Stick thing because every time the song can. Come which, which song? <laughs> I take you to the candy shop. <laughs> <laughs> you see? No, no. She's walking with me, and we are talking about. You began about the stick. <laughs> but okay, so that was your that question. Was Where do I see myself in the future? Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, but it was a too big answer. Just a short answer. But <laughs> I prefer. Okay, okay. I'm like get to the point. Ah, short Don't... time future. I see me ten meters from here. That's the future. <laughs> Jeez. It can be the future. Yeah, that's the future. Yeah, because so. I cannot. Um, look it's, forward in the future. That question we get a lot. How? Where do you see yourself in five years from now? And I'm always like. We don't know, no. I really don't know. It all depends on Bitcoin, to be very honest. Because if Bitcoin crashes to zero, uh, the future is like different. It doesn't and if, only depend on Bitcoin. Yeah, it does depend on Bitcoin, because we are all in Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin crashes That's to zero... For sure, but there are so many more things in the world and in our family that make our future. That's why I was saying the biggest part of our future depends on Bitcoin. Because if Bitcoin would crash, the future looks different than if Bitcoin goes to a million. It's all kind of depending on Bitcoin. Not that I'm saying if Bitcoin crashes, we are dead or we don't have a future. We will still have a beautiful future, but our lives kind of depend on it. I think we are completely in the bushes. I told you so. <laughs> so where? Let's go walk. That way I see the things again. <laughs> where? Here? The, the kind of bunkers. <laughs> Bunker. I think we'll get ticks. Ticks. Uh... So yes, I agree. Life is not all about Bitcoin. Sorry guys, there's some bushes in the way. <laughs> so life is not all about Bitcoin, but our lives kind of are is influenced by Bitcoin. You think it's not that we are that our lives is not depending on Bitcoin? No, that's not all I'm saying. It takes a big part of our um, lives, Bitcoin, because we made the change to um, go for it. <laughs> and uh, surely Bitcoin does a lot for our family, but there are many other things that could happen because maybe one of our kids says uh, mom dad i'm done i'm going back to holland and with or without you <laughs> so what then, then we there's are other ones <laughs> it's not the same when you were thought it was same. but yeah well, let's see there are those oh my god 
uh, what then? <laughs> then we are still all in no, Bitcoin. it's just an example. Everything can happen. So I cannot predict where we will be in five years. Same here. Yeah. But that's why I said, even if the kids want but to go to the Netherlands, yeah. that doesn't mean we are still depending fully on Bitcoin. Like, let's say, let's be honest. If Bitcoin goes to one euro, we can't even pay, pay the, the gasoline to the Netherlands. So... Yeah, but, yeah, okay, that's true. But then something else will come up. Ah, that's exactly where I want to get you because oh, that yeah, is a he's the one that wants to get me there. <laughs> no, I want to get you somewhere else. That you know where I want to get you when we walk in the bushes. But indeed, life will always present you with a new adventure, and that is how we stand in this whole adventure of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin crashes to zero, then we will find a new adventure and we will find new solutions. And that is exactly what I was talking about yesterday: the fear that everybody had to change life. That is why so many comments below the video yesterday were like, wow, indeed, that's a different view of life. It is. Um, but it is, it's not always easy, let's say it like this. And it's also not always e easy to walk in nature because you get these sticks in your nose. Uh, so that was the family part. I will keep it to that because that was a very long family part because she's talking slowly. You talk too much. <laughs> I knew that that was coming. But I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <sighs> itchy. I'm getting itchy of all these. Uh... Let's take it to the Bitcoin part. The part where I bomb you with some beautiful Bitcoin charts. Today, two amazing charts. And yes, of course, also taking a look at the Didi Bam Bam indicator. Bam! Today, guys, I'm going to share the Didi Bam Bam indicator on a four hour chart. Yes, normally we show the 15 minute chart or the 30 minute chart or the one hour chart, but I got some questions. Does it also work on the four hour chart? Yes, it does. Let's take a four hour chart to show you the profits we made in the last nine days. This chart. Bam! Bam! <laughs> she does it so good. She's getting better and better. This four hour chart, guys, is um, covering all the period from the 3rd of November to the 9th, no, till the 12th of November, I think. Yes, the 3rd to the 12th of November. And in this period, we did three trades. I'm going to show you now what kinds of trades we did with the four hour chart. So this is for the people that don't have time to trade every day and just want to have a look at the chart sometimes. And then you get this warning in the Discord group, please sell or please buy. That is what the DD Bam Bam indicator does. There's mud ahead. Okay. Let's see how we get through that with my flip flops. <laughs> Fuck. You can walk around it there, across the hill. Mm -hmm. It sounds... Kids will love the sounds. Yeah. <laughs> we can make an ASMR video out of this. You know what ASMR video is, guys? Those that get like millions of views and the people don't even do their best like me, like creating content on amazing places. They do that best in another way. <laughs> they are just sitting at their home, behind the desk, making squishy sounds with their mouth while they're eating, or with plastic, and then they get millions of views. Yeah. Maybe I should make an ASMR Bitcoin video. Maybe that is a success as well. Where were we? We were at the four hour chart. This one. Bam. You can see, on the 3rd of November, we started the long. This long took all the way to the 6th of November. So yes, that's three days. And like always, we traded with 1% of the Bitcoin price. And yes, we trade with a leverage of 10. In total, it was a 15% profit in those three days. But because we traded with a leverage of 10, the profit was 150%. So from the 3rd till the 6th. You can see this green square on the screen. That is the first trade. The second trade, guys, was a short. The short started on 6 November and ended on 8 November. It was a short, we made a profit of 3%, leverage of 10. And then the third trade, guys, started on the 11th uh, November and ended on the 13th of November. Again, a long. This long took 7.2% to a leverage of 10, 70%. So if you calculate right now, take a look at the charts again. In total, in those nine days, the Didi Bam Bam indicator made 255%. That's a huge amount of profit. So if you would have played with 1000 euros, for example, nine days later, you would have ended up with 2550 euros around that number, guys. It can be a little bit less, a little bit more, depends on when you exit and enter the trades. 
but this is what the DD Bam Bam indicator does for you and this is how it simplifies the trading strategy you get an indication now it's a moment to start a long and now it's a moment to get out of the long now there's a moment to short the, uh, to short Bitcoin and now there is a moment to exit the short so yes the DD Bam Bam indicator is also performing in an amazing way on the four hour chart the ones that want to know what Bitcoin is doing at the moment, let's take a look at the really cool Bitcoin chart where I drew the Fibonacci retracement levels so you can see what kinds of support levels there are in Bitcoin. This chart, bam. bam! On this chart guys, you can see what I said yesterday. Yes, after a huge increase in price, we will always see a dip in Bitcoin. It's a pullback, it's healthy. This is how the market moves. It goes up and down, up and down. In the end, if you zoom out, yes, it's going up but we have up and down movements in between. Depends how far you zoom in to the chart. So the one hour to the 30 minutes to the 50 minutes, the more you zoom in, the more and up and down movements you will see. Biggest support level of Bitcoin is now around 15,100 US dollar. But before we reach that support level of 15,100 US dollar, there are more support levels. Like you can see on this chart, you can see that the 0.382 level in Fibonacci is around 15,700 US dollar. The next level, 0.236 level, that one is around 15,400 US dollar. So these levels will first act as support. I think while recording this video, we are already visiting those levels of support. But yeah, because I'm recording the video, I cannot enter the trade. So that's how I lose money, because I'm recording videos in nature with my wife, talking about how my feelings are and where I see myself in the future. <laughs> that's how life is. Life is a bitch. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. And then after those two levels, guys, yes, 15,100 is the biggest area of support. Again, a warning in today's video. If we fall below 15,100 US dollar per Bitcoin, it is time for you to take a seat, strap on your belt, and enjoy the crash because then we could go all the way down to 14,500, 14,000, 13,000, even 12,500 US dollar, guys. Because again, Bitcoin moves in movements up and down. Like I showed in the picture yesterday, every bull run we have six times going 200% up and we crash at 40%. If we see a 30% crash from 16,000, that would be a 5k crash to all the way back to 11k. Not a strange thing if you look to the history of the crashes in Bitcoin. So always be aware of these levels. So this Fibonacci retracement level is a very important tool to combine with the DD Bam Bam indicator because then you can see where the support should be and where the entering of a long or a short could be a right moment. But there were the charts for today. I mean, it's weekend. I don't want to walk all day. I want to go to the beach and have a coffee. So let's jump into the blockchain slash news part. This part. Bam. Bam. <laughs> In this part, only talking about one thing, PayPal. PayPal just opened the doors to all US customers. So now everybody in the United States that has a PayPal account can start and buy Bitcoin. This is huge news, of course. And of course, it will be even be bigger news when PayPal is opening the doors to the whole world. Because then we are talking about, I think, 350 million clients worldwide that can start to buy Bitcoin in PayPal with their PayPal. But again, like I said in my previous video about PayPal, be aware. If you buy your Bitcoins on PayPal, you cannot send them from your Bitcoin wallet in PayPal to another wallet. So no, it is not how Bitcoin normally should be working. And yes, maybe PayPal will change their rules in the future and will make it able for you to send your Bitcoins from PayPal. But till then, only use PayPal when you just want to buy Bitcoin as a financial tool, join the bull run and then sell it again at the end of 2021 because then you can convert it back to cash in your PayPal account. I hope you really enjoyed the video and everything we had to tell and share with you guys again. If you did like the video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single of the minute of the, every single minute of the day. She should be saying that, man. I am stumbling all day. Can you do it once? What do you want me to do? To zoom and to zoom out and to zoom in. Okay.
Just remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and zoom in in life. And then? <laughs> I to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what life is about. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you Monday again. Because Sunday is my off day. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>